Hey, how you doing guys? This is Zara here. So today I wanted to discuss regarding of the Callisto protocol. But first of all, I want to mention that I'm a little bit sick, so I may sound a little bit different than I usually do. I actually wanted to make this video yesterday, but again, I was in a far worse state. Today I'm in a better state, but still I have a full nose, like a stuffy nose, so I, I sound a little bit different. And um, okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about the Callisto protocol. Now, regarding of its reviews and everything that the reception has been going on for it. Yes, you have may already have noticed the game isn't exactly getting the most super positive reviews that a lot of people were anticipating. At least a lot of people that are known that the team that they're actually known for making Dead Space franchise and they're like, you know, expectations will be going well, very, very high. And as such, the, you know, anticipation for the Callisto protocol would have been well pretty enormous as well and because of that of course it really did not meet that in, uh, expectations at all there's big problems within the game of course like a lot of people and myself included even we are saying that perhaps it needed a, an additional year of delay to actually finalize and fix a lot of issues I will note them out uh, but I want to clarify one thing I chose to wait on this game at first Okay, there were so many negative things, so many uh, like something questionable decisions have been made. For example, that the reviewers only uh, get an opportunity to review this game like on the day of the release. That's already kind of giving red flags. But then again, you know, I really didn't care about much about that. But instead, if you've been following my channel, you will notice that I was a little bit torn on my anticipation for this game. Should I pick it up or not? And I had my own reasons to it, right? And they, at the end of the day, I decided not to pick it up. And I think that might have been a good decision. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, I, look, guys, I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm definitely seeing gameplay looks incredible. It looks good. Looks good. Uh, in terms of the artistic view and the graphics, the graphics looks phenomenal. But unfortunately, there are far, far, far many negatives that I definitely want to talk about. For example, the game needed a lot more polish. PC state, Xbox state, this the game that came out, that came out, it is pretty appalling. PlayStation 5 is the best uh, in terms of the performance that this game is running on. And of course, there's many more issues within the game because like these you know, polishing state, they can still be done within the patches. It's not a problem. This can be figured out. This can be ironed out. That's not a problem. But the problem is the foundation of the game, not necessarily the foundation, because the foundation is quite strong within this game. If they do make a sequel, I think it will be pretty damn good. But I want to note them out and uh, and point them out what reviewers are saying as well. What are the bad and negative things within the game? But also, guys, I want to mention that I will pick this game up in the future. I will make my review, my thoughts, and I will mention as well of my negatives and my gripes that I will have with the game. But all the negatives that I'm mentioning in here that I've noticed that I trust the reviews that have experienced this game and pretty much all the reviews, reviewers that I trust, they all said that this game is a, is a disappointment. But it's not a bad game, it's just is a big disappointment. Okay, for example, the Sphere Hunter, uh, Skill Up, right, like these guys, just few in the, of the examples that I trust, and they all basically said that this game is a disappointment. F one big thing as well, for example, the, well, the writing. The writing is appalling, it's really not that good, perhaps they should have even needed to redo the writing, that's one of the things. Enemy types, and in terms of the variety, there's just not enough of it, there's always perhaps mostly only like humanoid enemies and I think that's actually a detriment I really do believe that because Dead Space had a lot more grotesque enemies don't get me wrong the grotesqueness in within this game it is incredible in a very very good state but I think that the freaky nature of enemies within Dead Space is a far more creepier vibe that it gives, at least to me. Because the enemies look more humanoid within the Callisto Protocol, I don't think that necessarily gives you much of a fright. And here's the big problem. This game is not really horror, because everyone is saying like, I was not spooked by this game at all. The only time, and this is a big fucking negative I'm gonna mention, there are way too many jump scares. That is a gimmick, that is cheap, and that is not horror. That's just a kind of a, a marketing strategy. Just saying your game is a horror aspect because it has jump scares. That is a big negative. That's definitely giving a minus points. And on top of that, it's repetitive in terms of those jump scares. It is frustrating. And I, everyone says that. <laughs> okay, so one more thing. Regarding of the death animations, it is incredible. Fantastic, 10 out of 10, but there's a big problem. 
they are repetitive as well. If you get killed by one same enemy type or from a boss, you get to constantly see the same death animations time again and again and again. And I'll say why in terms of the combat, because there are some difficulty spikes that was going on. That's also not a good thing as well. And by that time, you just simply, as quickly as possible, just reload a last checkpoint. That because that is far rather, faster route to do than actually seeing a whole death animations for the 50th time. There needs to be more exploration within this game. I'm noticing that as well. Everyone's basically saying that there's not much backtracking yet you can really do. For example, there is like a, uh, I'm not too sure, I'm not too familiar how this you know, thing is called, basically you can actually equip your weapon for different attachments or stuff like that, right, to upgrade those weapons, but then you need some necessary component or items or something, right? So you make us, you walk like about 50 steps forward, like when you're progressing through the story, you pick up this item because you found it, and then you want to go backtrack and you want to upgrade this weapon because you know for a fact that you can do it now, but the door's closed so you cannot go back. And it's just like, what is with this idea? Yeah, that, that's just not clever. But yeah, backtracking needs to be refined. There needs to be a lot more exploration. Now, there are some beaten paths that you can take, but a lot of people say that they're just, it's just there, right? There's just, this world seems soulless. That, like, look, I get that this is a horror game. I get that everyone is dead here, basically, right? There's there are monsters coming at you to eat you alive and stuff like that, to kill you, brutalize you. But the world, the environment needs to have a lot more polish, maybe more colors a little bit. Now, I'm not saying that what it like shows here is bad. I'm not saying that, but I think they need to have more innovation compared to like what was in Ishimura in Dead Space. Again, I'm not saying it needs to be identical though. A lot of people say like they seriously need to flesh out the story uh, behind the background of Jacob. Who the fuck is he? How did he get into the situation? Why is he here? What is his motivation? What's going on? They just kind of bring you into the game. That's it. That's all. Go ahead. Do your thing. It's kind of disappointing in that regard. Like there's just not much character development. That's not a bad thing. The main antagonist was also a disappointment. A lot of people said. And the final boss was also a very big disappointment. In fact, everyone's saying that repetitive uh, mini bosses and main bosses are a big problem within this game. And it's just the same type all the time. And it's irritating. That's what, well, that's what reviewers are saying anyway. So perhaps a remaking all the boss fights will be necessary. And here's the big, big, big mess up. A ridiculous amount of obvious loading screens. For example, when you want to go crawling through the tunnels, skimming through the tight spaces or opening the doors with low, long animations. That's, that's overdone. I'm actually noticing this now a little too often. Now, I get that this is actually necessary for PlayStation 4, but I don't think that's much of an excuse for PlayStation 5, because like that should be not an issue anymore. Right? I think that this they need to move on from this. Like They need to have less of these tunnels, the scheming, going through the tight spaces. I, it's just irritating, right? I think they need to do something better. At, like, look, like I said, PlayStation 4 version is all right. I understand the hardware is quite old at this point, but the PlayStation 5 and a Series X and a, a high-end PCs, that's not much of an excuse to do that any longer. It's kind of irritating. You can see this like time and time again, and you start to notice this. And everyone is saying this at the beginning of the game. You go through four different types of tunnels. They're slowly skimming through, uh, crawling through it. And it's, it's just repetitive. It's annoying. It's slow. It's not that interesting. Now, a lot of people have different mixed feelings about the dodge mechanics and combat because like, this game is mainly about the melee combat. That, is, of, that's, of course, depends on the difficulty that you choose to. Because like, if you go on a higher end difficulty, for like, example, hard difficulty, uh, all you really do is, for example, you deal two times less damage or the enemies deal on you two times more damage. And of course, you deal on them two times. Well, you need to kill them. They're far more tougher enemies, basically, every one of them. And so, you see, I think they need to have a lot more innovation. This game in itself, in general, right? I'm not, saying, I'm not talking about difficulty now. It needs to have more innovation. They are still stuck in back in 2008. Now, a lot of people say, well, all the things that they mentioned or have shown here, it was good regarding that in like Dead Space 1. Because like a lot of things are present here that was already present in Dead Space. But again, that's back in 2008. We're in 2022 now. That's not much of an excuse. There's bigger, different standards. And so you kind of want to meet that standard. And a lot of people, and maybe, maybe not a lot of people, but I'm going to say this. 
I think maybe Glenn, he kind of was a little bit out of touch, maybe. But if this game is like a foundation, right, or, or a kind of an experimental game to have an incredible follow-up for his sequel, and I hope he gets a sequel, and actually do all the right for this game and actually improve on everything on that regard, then this might be an incredible experience, and I hope it is. Because like the foundation, like I said, is there. It's good. It's solid. But I just hope it lives up to the hope of the sequel that, again, yeah, well, clickbait sequel, more like actually this game has a lot of people saying that, that the ending of this game is not very good. They kind of tease on a sequel, but it just does not make sense how they do it. I'm not going to spoil anything here. Do not worry. I, in fact, I don't know how the ending goes anyway. I'm just talking about what everyone is saying in terms of the poor regards of this game and what's gotten wrong things about it as well. Again, guys, I want to mention that this is not a bad game. It's just a big disappointment. That's all it is. Because, like, you know, your expectations of, like, Dead Space 1, Dead Space 2, like, were very high in regard. But then, like, you kind of, you know, well, kind of fail so hard on the Callisto Protocol. It's basically a little bit of an appetizer for the follow-up that's going to be regarded far higher of their own game that they actually made back in 2008. I'm talking about Dead Space Remake. It's like, here you go, have a little bit of an appetizer. It's a little bit shit, but you can have it a go, right? It's not too bad, of course. But then a month later on January, you're going to have the follow-up of an incredible experience such as Dead Space Remake. And that's just sad, you know, I, you genuinely want to have a little bit of a competition, but now, unfortunately, the Callisto Protocol is not even a competition compared to the Dead Space. That's all I got. Do let me know what you think about this game, of course, guys. Did you pick it up? Did you not? If you have, tell me about it. What do you think about it? Uh, like the review, like, you know, everyone's saying it's not, yeah, it's more or less like a 5 to 7 out of 10. That's really is unfortunate. Right, like and subscribe. See you guys all. Have a wonderful day.